Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Anna. I hope you are all well and you are doing okay. I've posted this accordion card using Tracy's Evans stamps from All and Create and some dies. And you absolutely loved it, the um, idea of creating the tutorial. So this is what I will share with you. I will actually make another accordion card like this using the same stamps from All and Create designed by Tracy Evans. Also we in there we go. And also the Diva stencil, let's call it Diva number 39. Uh, this is the most popular stencil from All and Create from Out of the Moir. So I'm sure you all have this stencil and you're using on and on. So let's start, let's begin. I have a watercolour paper here, which is just literally half of the size A4 card. And I will be building up the layers using Distress Oxide and Distress Ink. So I'm going to start with the lightest colour first. Of course, all the information regarding products, what I'm using, you can find in the description box below. And if you have any questions, if you have any information for me to share or any ideas for future projects, then by all means feel free to drop me a comment and I will consider those in future videos. So I'm just building up the layers. So firstly, when I've applied the yellow ink, uh, I'm drying each layers in between. Uh, so once I'm happy with the amount of the ink, uh, how the background building up, I'm drying layers in the between. And also I'm dabbing my die cut element in the same ink just to color in the same colors. I'm using literally three colors of inks, some um, obviously um, watercolor paper and also two stamps from um, All in Create designed by wonderful Tracy Evans. So I'm going to put the music on for you and I will carry on building up the layers on my background and once that is ready we'll move on to the next step.
sound is ready. So now I'm going to add some stenciling. So I'm not introducing any new colours. I'm working on those three shades of ink what I've picked up to use on my background. So to add the stenciling I'm using blending tool and applying ink through the stencil like so. So once my background is ready, I've got my stamps ready and I will do some stamping. Like you see, I'm not introducing any new colours, I'm using the same three inks what I've got here, uh, which I've used to build up my background. So first, uh, stamping, I'm using with the Distress ink and I'm doing the pink stamping. Uh, I'm only doing a partial print from the stamp. I'm not using the full image. So that's what I like to do because those um, stamps designed by Tracy, they are all versatile. So you can actually use only parts of the stamp to, to create beautiful background, to create beautiful details. You don't need a full image to transfer at that point. So that's the process what I like to do. close up my stamping and now I will move on to the main images. So for that I'm using a Versafine Claire black ink. I really liked working with this ink because once you apply and transfer the image from the stamp you get very nice crisp image. So I'm just applying ink on my stamp like so, just to make sure it's all covered nicely. And then I will transfer the stamp over. I'm not pressing in every area because I don't want the stamping to be very rectangle. I want it to be irregular so it's ending and starting at one point, like so. So I will carry on stamping uh, using those two stamps by Tracy Evans and once the stamps done on my accordion card I also will do a stamping with the same uh, flowers on just a piece of cardstock which I will be using to color and apply my flowers on top. So I'm going to put the music on for you while I do that and work on those stamping.
So now it's colouring process and for that I'm using inks, just applying them on my glass mat by Toning Studio and I'm using water brush uh, just to build up the layers and uh, create the shadows on my flowers. So two of my flowers will be yellow and the other two will be in pink. So once again I'm going to put the music on so you're not going to be bored with me chatting and chatting how to paint, how to colour the flowers. Cutted my flowers and I also have added sentiment which also comes together with those stamps and it says make each day count so now I'm placing my fussy cut elements and deciding where the sentiment will go and once I'm happy with the placement I will adhere them with just ordinary glue stick to add my um, die cut element and I would like to just apply the die, uh, this die cut element in few places so firstly I'm attaching the one part of my die cut design and then I'm cutting off rest of it and then sticking on on the different area so this is the idea for you that you don't have to use the full die cut. You can actually cut it into pieces and apply in few areas like I did.
got my scoring board out and I've drew the lines where I need to put the scoring. Um, I kind of like um, not put the lines very straight, but that doesn't really matter. So this is my accordion cut, what I've just created. Uh, now I'm just going to do a bit of a uh, boarding, just to add a bit of a frame so it goes nice as a, a whole piece. So my edge is also going to be um, nicely framed. And for that I'm using this purple ink and applying with a blending tool. So here it is, this is my accordion card. As you can see, I intentionally created an um, opposite way the flowers. On my first one, the uh, large flower is as a first one and the smaller one as a second. So I've just done an opposite way this one. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find it inspirational. And if so, please share this video with your friends. They might want to um, benefit from this um, tutorial as well. Thank you very much for being here. Stay well, stay safe. And until the next time, bye for now.